Hi, it's Eric from Sony, and I'm here today to talk to you about how to connect your Sony HTZ9F soundbar as part of a multi-room or whole home audio experience using the Google Home app. Now, if you didn't know, you can connect any Sony receiver, soundbar, or audio video device to a multi-room setup as long as it has Chromecast built in. And this will allow you to share and cast some of your favorite music from your Chromecast enabled music apps like Spotify, Tidal, and Apple Music to your Sony TV, speakers, or other products throughout your home. This process is effortless and sometimes as easy as using your voice. With the Google Home app, you can group your Google Assistant enabled devices for synchronous listening throughout the home. And once set up properly, you can cast your Google enabled apps and that's for both Android and iOS devices. Let me show you how. Okay, step one is gonna be to create a group so that you can start listening. And we're gonna get right to setting up our HTZ9F soundbar as part of a group. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is open up your Google Home app. You're gonna open it and click the plus icon at the top left or the add icon, the plus or add, same thing here. Once you do that, you're gonna go and create a speaker group. You're gonna look for where it says create a speaker group. And then you'll notice that all the devices that you have that are on the same Wi-Fi as your mobile phone or tablet or whatever device you're using uh, will now allow you to see those uh, Chromecast enabled devices that are on your network uh, so here in my case, I have three devices, speakers on the network. Uh, you'll notice that my HTZ9F is one of them. So I'm gonna create a speaker group by selecting, which creates a little check mark, the speakers that I want in the group. And then I'm gonna hit next. After that, it gives me the opportunity to name my group. So I'm gonna name the group Whole Home Group so that I know when it's time to have a party or have friends over, I'm gonna cast music to my entire home and enjoy that synchronous listening that we talked about earlier. Then you're gonna hit save after you've named the group and voila, you're all set. Now, let's go to step two and that's how to control the group we just set up with our voice as promised. Now this is more fun and this is really not that complicated. Once you set up your group correctly, you simply say okay, then the magic word, followed by, instead of the name of the device, we're now going to ask Google to play music to our desired group, which we just set up. Now, that's not the only thing we can do. We can actually do some basic commands like stop, pause, or play back. Um, we can also increase or lower the volume. Uh, what's cool about this is we can increase the volume to a number like five, or we can increase or lower the volume to a percentage like, okay, magic word, put the volume at 40%. So let's give it a try. Okay, Google, play music on my Z9F. Okay, Google. Stop. And she stops. So that's how you control a group or you can control a device with your voice. Now proceed to rocking out or maybe just chillaxing and enjoying your favorite music. And I hope this video helped you to create a really cool multi-room experience using your Sony HTZ9F soundbar and the Google Home app please don't hesitate to visit us at sony.com. Eric from Sony, signing off. Until next time.